What's going on, peeps? Lone Gemini here, and I thought that I could start a series on my personal beast moments in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. So here we go. Welcome to the series. Yeah, Clip number one's coming on Nuketown. I get hard scoped like a bitch, but you know what? Before I die, take that motherfucker! Here it is from his angle, taking out his teammate, and he's just like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm just gonna keep aiming down my sights. Clip number two, blind combat axe on hijacked. Coming up, taking out another motherfucker with my pistol. Pow, motherfucker, pow! So most of these clips are going to be combat axes. I'll call them hatchets from time to time, so you have to forgive me for that. That's a Black Ops 1 kind of thing. Um, they're not really long distance hatchets. Some of them are. They're not the long shot metal. If you're trying to get the long shot metal for the Humiliation Master, I guess I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. But anyway, if you're trying to do that... I think it's based off of the spawns of the map, like you literally have to throw the hatchet, there we go again, combat axe, from spawn to spawn. That's kind of how to get the long shot metal if you're trying to attempt that. So I thought that previous clip was pretty funny, the guy kills me because I didn't reload and I came back at him. This one's kind of nice because he's like, you know what, I'm going to grenade the bomb, fuck that shit, before I die, here, I got a present for you, fuck you asshole, there's your grenade. Oh man, that's why I like the the hatchet so much. It's because it's just like you could shoot me, do whatever, but if I release that thing before I die, I have a hundred percent chance of killing you if I hit you. It doesn't matter where it is, you're gonna die. So it's my favorite pieces of equipment between tactical or deadly or however you want lethal, whatever. And it's. It's a beast, I love it. Especially when you can equip two of them with Scavenger. Hell you! Yeah. But uh, here I am, back on hijacked again, throwing axes to get people off of the objective, running around, shooting some mofos, getting to the objective, capturing the objective. Man, I just. I love objective play. Like, after kind of getting used to hard point and, you know, headquarters, demo, search and destroy, they're just. They're so much more fun than TDM or Kill Confirmed. I just, I don't know. I mean, I still like the game types, but I thought this one was sweet. It was like, oh, you put your head out in the window. Oh, oh, oh. If y'all want to see more clips like this with the theater mode where I'm kind of like following the combat axe, doing more of like a, a montage kind of style video, I guess, just let me know. I'll do more of that. It's just, it's a bitch to have to, you know, because I want to play Call of Duty when I get on Call of Duty, and when I get one of those oh. axes, that guy was kind of mad. You could hear him in the background. I got this uh, this combat axe on drone. This was in hardcore, so I didn't have a HUD, so I thought this was badass. I was like, I uh, can't even see what I'm throwing at. Gotcha. Um, like I said, if y'all want to see more of the, th uh, the theater mode with, you know, doing the montage kind of style, just let me know. I'll take the time to do it, but like I said, it's just a bitch. This one, I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. <laughs> Double kill, motherfucker. Oh, man. This one was my favorite of my beast moments. And I just... I wouldn't... Like I said, these these moments aren't really like, you know, oh, my God, that's like the coolest Call of Duty clip I've ever seen. But, you know, these are my personal kind of cool moments that I've recorded. And just come in here and just wipe him off a of B flag. I don't give a fuck. Get out of here, bitch. Uh, this last clip, it's kind of. Uh, I got mad. I got really mad. Because this guy was spawn fucking us in demo. And I really didn't appreciate that. It really was kind of pissing me off. So I just pulled out my 870 and was like, there's your face. I'm going to shoot it off. Shoot off your face. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking asshole! Ugh. Yeah. That's how that goes. Alright, so those are the clips. A quick update on my channel. Uh, on what's to come in the next couple weeks to months. I got back to school on January 22nd. And me being a junior, almost senior in college, it's really going to affect me putting out a video every day. So expect probably three to four videos every week. With those videos coming out towards the weekend. DLC number one for Black Ops 2 Revolution is coming out January 29th for the Xbox. That being so close to the start of the semester, I don't see, you know, affecting my school. So when the DLC comes out, expect videos on it. I should be able to put those out immediately. 
Um, the major thing I'm really looking forward to is the die rise, the new zombie map, and the Easter egg. So that's probably what those videos are going to be on. Other thoughts on videos throughout the semester, I do have a pretty hard workload with my schooling. It's not very easy, so don't expect videos on a constant basis. But at least expect one video a week just to keep you updated, let you know I'm still there, still alive. Um, but that's kind of the thoughts on what's coming up in the next couple of months. Other than that, let, leave comments below. I like to see when my subs and you know my viewers give me ideas on how they feel. Even if you're going to hate, I don't really care. Just let me know how you feel. Let me know you, what you want to see, and I'll bring you that material. All right, guys. This has been Lone Gemini, and I hope you enjoyed. And as always, until next time.